It's another episode at Norda Vista and VTV bringing all of the news. We're back in better hope you didn't miss us. Be a great student, it's all up to you. Tune in, cause we're doing the most. Best shows and the greatest hosts. Updates on your very own school. TK on the track. Culture, art, sports, academics, future news Made by students at the Woodsworth School Stay anticipated, never know what's coming towards your way In your second period Always gonna be an interesting topic for us today Hey Braves, last week on September 26, 2023 From 3.30pm to 5pm Novi Water Polo played against Arlington High School They lost 22-6, to maybe next time Braves we had Andrew Garcia and some other kid interview a bunch of really cool viewers. Here's what they said. Hello, my name is Andrew Garcia, here with... Joe. Aubrey. What do you think the outcome of this game is going to be? Well, it might be a tough de decision, but um, I think we might lose by one. It could go either way, to be honest. There's not that many returners as last year. Um, there's a lot more freshmen here than uh, last year, too. Novi may have lost, but they still made in six incredible goals. Player 11, Danny Martinez, was assisted by player 24, Alan Pedro, in scoring the first point of the game. Our goalie, Kevin Adame, scored four points against Arlington, most of his shots being from across the pool. Yes! Kevin Adame also had many incredible blocks, stopping Arlington from scoring four points. Alan Pedro scored the third point of the game. We also had player 25, Ethan Nava, score the final goal. Ethan Nava is super cool. Novi will face off against Hillcrest High School next on the 10th. Stay damp, Braves. Happy Wednesday, Novi. I'm your host, Hope. And I'm your host, Sol. Let's get into today's announcements. Remember that the U.S. Navy will be presenting in the Braves Lounge today. If you sign up in advance, be sure to attend that presentation. Next week, we'll have presentations from SCU San Bernardino, Cal Poly Pomona, UC San Diego and Swarthmore College. That's a lot of great opportunities to learn more about different colleges in our region. Be sure to sign up in guidance prior to the day of to attend each presentation. Speaking of guidance, remember that the ASVAB Career Exploration can put you on the right path toward a satisfying career. Understanding your skills, abilities, and interests will help you make the best decision about your career. The ASVAB will take place on Monday, October 23rd, 2023 from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the library. If you haven't already done so, please sign up by scanning the QR code on the flyer outside of guidance or any flyer around campus. You can also access the Google form on the Counseling Google Classroom. Don't forget to sign up. Attention seniors, on October 17th, Novi will be hosting Senior Push Day as part of our College and Career Week. We will begin during third period with three different breakout sessions from UC, CSU, and RCC. We need you to choose your breakout sessions by Thursday, October 12th. That's tomorrow. Please scan the QR code to sign up. You can find flyers around campus or visit your counseling Google Classroom to access the QR code. During fourth period, you will be heading to a financial aid session where you'll learn more about ways to pay for college. The event will end with the college career fair during your lunchtime. Please remember to choose your breakout sessions by tomorrow. Attention juniors and seniors, are you planning on joining the military? The Army is hosting an Army career fair at March Air Force Base on Tuesday, October 24th from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Transportation will be provided. Please scan the QR code to sign up. You can find flyers around campus along with your counseling Google Classroom. Slots are limited. We have several club meetings today. If you're a member of the Film Junkies Club, you'll meet in room 402 during second lunch. Novi Dreamers will be meeting in the Braves Lounge during both lunches. The Juniors Optimists will meet in room 602 during second lunch. Don't forget that this Thursday we will have parent-teacher conferences. These won't be your ordinary parent-teacher conferences though. Many of our students are receiving awards for the work during the first months of school and we're celebrating those achievements this Thursday. You can expect Kona Ice, a taco truck, treats, and more. The Riverside Public Library will be on site to help students and their families get access to free library cards. Be sure to tell your families and plan on attending. There will be lots of surprises for and awards for those who show up. And it's important for student success that families stay connected with Norte Vista. That's all for today. Novi, tune in tomorrow. Have a great day, Novi. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and most importantly, stay, stay brave. brave. Hello Braves, today I'm here with Assembly Member Sabrina Cervantes. 
Nice to be here with you all. So, Ms. Sabrina, I have a few questions for you. So, what are your thoughts on Nordavisa and in our CT program? Well, it was uh, amazing to come on campus just to witness the great CT programs that are being offered for uh, all of the students uh, to have great solid career pathways onto uh, a community college or into the trade sector, uh, learning about the film, uh, journalism, learning about the construction, uh, sheet metal work. It's, it's amazing. These are the type of opportunities we need to provide. Uh, to students across the state of California, Norte Vista is doing it right here in our own backyard. So what have you done and what do you plan to do to support our CT programs like for high school? Well, I uh, just finished having a conversation with your principal and superintendent uh, talking about what we could be doing better as a state legislature to provide more funding opportunities, uh, to provide just better streamlining between uh, the school districts and uh, other career pathways, whether that's Riverside Community College District or the trades. Uh, and so for me, I would like to figure out what I could do to introduce legislation uh, that could really help tie these pieces together um, and provide funding to school districts like Alford Unified School District. And how can students get more involved in politics and help them make the decisions that's, that are affecting them? So great question. Uh, this is a civic question. Uh, I think that it's important that uh, no matter uh, where you're at on the political spectrum, that I encourage students to get engaged uh, with your, who your local elected officials are, who your school board members are, all the way up to uh, your state representatives like myself. So you get to really learn about the issues and share your values, right? Uh, everyone has their own set of values and what are, what are people doing to address the issues in your own uh, backyard? Uh, so I would encourage students to get involved volunteering your time at local uh, community booths. We have a lot of them. I partner with a lot of great organizations and nonprofits where we have backpack drives, toy giveaways, um, doing things for the families of our district. Uh, so I would encourage students to volunteer their time. That builds up your resume too, right? You gotta have some things on your resume there. Uh, and, and really just learning about what's important. You, you gotta ask yourself, uh, w we all have a purpose in life. And you gotta ask yourself, what is my purpose? And uh, do things that drive you to uh, just be a better person, but also to uplift our communities, right? We need those type of voices. We need that type of passion. Uh, and so I'm always, always very involved with our school districts and our students because uh, they're the ones that drive me. They're the ones that give me the inspiration to fight for you all in Sacramento. Uh, and so when I hear about your enthusiasm for film, well, I wanna go back up in Sacramento and, and keep fighting for programs like this because that's what it's about, right? Yes. Uh, and so that's what I would encourage you all to do as students is just get engaged, learn about what's happening in your own neighborhood, uh, and find ways to make a difference. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Montes, for your interview. Thank you, Braves. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure to stay safe, stay positive, and most importantly, stay brave.